Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So guys, in this video, we will be solving lead code problem number 1439. Find the kth smallest sum of a matrix with sorted rows. So let's first understand the problem statement. So the problem is saying you are given a matrix of size m cross n and an integer k, which has its row sorted in non-decreasing order. So we are given an array of something like let's take the first example. So the array matrix has all the rows in sorted order in non decreasing sorted order. So let's just take the example of first. Uh, so the matrix is this and we have an integer k. So the integer k is 5. All right so you are allowed to choose exactly one element from each row to form an array so we have to choose exactly one element from each row of the of this matrix right and we have to return the kth smallest array sum among all possible arrays okay so guys if we choose exactly one element from each row so the all the possible arrays can be like we can have 1 comma 2 we can have 1 comma 4 we can have 1 comma 6 and then we can have 3 comma 2 similarly i will just write 3 comma 4 and then 3 comma 6 and then 11 comma 2 and then 4 11 comma 4 and at last 11 comma 6 so we will uh, for this matrix we can have total nine possible arrays where we have at least one element from each row all right so after forming this array we can find the sum of each all arrays like first will be the sum will be three then five then seven then five then again seven then 9, then 13, then 15, then 17. So these are the sum of these array. So after that, we have to return the kth smallest array sum. So we have to return the kth smallest. So from this, the kth cell, uh, smallest can be like if we sort this in increasing order. So 5, comma, 7, comma, 7, comma, 13 comma 15 comma 17 so the kth that is k equals to 5 fifth smallest will be seven, this 7 okay so this is the problem statement all right now we have to solve this so guys the one thing that is important to see here is that we don't actually have to create these array we have to just keep the sum with ourselves because we have to return the kth smallest array sum not the actual array so it is the crux of that problem this problem so now let's see how we will solve this so let me just explain with this example so we will now move towards the board and now we will discuss this example so let me create the array so the array is 1 10 10 and 1 4 5 and then 2 3 6 and the value of k is 7 right so this is our example number 3 so we will be seeing how we will solve this problem by solving this example so now let's see the approach so what we will do is we will start with row first so we will create a temporary array which will contain our row first first row of this matrix so it is 1 comma 10 comma 10 so we will keep it as a temporary array so now what we can do is we know that we just have to keep the sum so to include the element from second row what we can do is we can uh, 
include this one after one, ten, and ten. So for this one, we can have some like one plus one. So adding one, adding four, adding five, and then for this ten, we can have one, four, five, right? And then for this ten, we can again add one, four, and then five. So what will be the sums? So one plus one is two. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, again 10 plus 1 is 11, 10 plus 4 is 14, and 10 plus 5 is 15. 10 plus 1 is 11, 10 plus 4 is 14, and 10 plus 5 is 15. So these are all the sums that we will get if we uh, include one element from first and second row each. Okay. So now if we sort this, so we will get something like 2, 5, 6, 11, 11, 14, 15, 15, right? So now what we can do is now these are the sum when we have exact chosen exactly one element from row 1 and row 2. Now we have to include row 3. Right. So what we can do is after this two, we can add two, three, six, and again create an array something like this. But we have to make a decision here. We have to prune this array. So at, what I mean by this is we have to remove some irrelevant elements that will not be included in our answer. For example, here the value of k is seven. So we know that we have to find the k seven smallest so but the size of array is one two three four five six seven eight so if the size of array is eight so we know that the last array last element can be removed because it will not be included because all these seven elements are smaller than this and they will make the sum and some smaller than the last element so we can remove the last element and now at this stage what we can do is we can include we can add two in two we can add two three six and again this tree will be created for each element and then we will create a final array and after sorting that final array we will return the kth element of that array and, the, and this will be our answer. So now let's move towards the coding part. So let's see how we will code this. So what I will do is firstly I will initialize uh, our size of array. So this is the number of rows and this is the number of columns. Now what I will do is I will create a temporary array which will store the row 0 zero row of our matrix now what i will do is i will iterate over each row starting from first till n so this is the for loop for i uh, for each row now inside this what i will do is i will create a current array which will store the current uh, sum till current row that is if we are at i equals to 1 so current will store the sum till row 1 in which we have chosen exactly one element from row 0 and row 1 all right so after this what i will do is i will go to each column m and j plus plus and inside this we will have to create one more loop what will it do is so for int i equals to zero so we, we have to take k we have to take some another name it is equals to zero it uh, so we have to say that it less than temp dot size and it plus plus so this is the array for that summation for iterating over this array this is our temp array so 
we will be moving uh, we will be seeing in our temp array this loop right so what we have to do current dot push back temp of it plus a of i j so this will do our sum something like this if we have the temp array so we will iterate over the so if this is the temp array so we will iterate over all the uh, this this row and add this right so this is what we are doing in this step now after this what we will do is we will sort the current array current dot begin comma current dot end and after that we have to clear the temp array and we have to just put we will either put k1 k plus 1 elements or the current if current size is smaller then we will just put that only for example int maximum size is equals to minimum of k plus 1 comma current dot size current dot size right now what we have to do is for int j equals to 0 j less than max size j plus plus we just have to uh, push back in temp temp dot push back and we have to write current of j right so after this at last we have to return the temp k minus 1 because uh, we have the uh, temp array has index from 0 and k kth is starting from 1 so we will return temp of k minus 1 so let's just try running the code so okay no matching so we have to type pass this to int so let's see so it is running absolutely fine let's just try submitting it so yeah it is getting submitted so let me just again explain the code to you so initially i have initialized n and m with the uh, size of matrix and then i have created a temporary uh, vector which will which is storing the zeroth row and then i am iterating over all the rows remaining rows of the matrix and inside that i am creating a current vector which will store the which will store this the current sum current sum right so and then we are uh, this is for each column and inside this we are moving in this temp array so we are adding uh, in temp array suppose 1 10 10 is temp array so we are including 1 4 5 1 4 5 1 4 5 with each element of the temp array so what we are this is what we are doing in this loop and after that we are sorting that uh, this current array and only taking the k plus 1 k plus 1 number of elements or if it is less then we are taking the whole current array and pushing it inside the temp and finally we are returning k minus 1 k minus 1 the element which is at the index k minus 1 in the temporary array right so hopefully you are able to understand this problem and solve this problem so thanks for watching the video and do hit like if you are able to understand this and subscribe for more videos like this thanks for watching